Yeah, we literally ran into each other at the coffee at the station coffee here. Station. And we couldn't, we were speechless for like five minutes. I was like, is this the same guy? <laughs> we studied together uh, engineering and I live in Virginia, East Coast. He's here in Seattle, Seattle West Coast. Right, so. We were never in touch. 20 years later, at a coffee shop yeah. in Nanog. So thank you, Nanog. <laughs> Thanks, Nanog. <laughs> this is my 15th uh, Nanog. I flew directly from Italy to here. This is my uh, second Nanook. I've been uh, in another Nanook in San Francisco a couple years ago, I believe. And as usual, it's amazing. So I've been going to Nanook for the last eight or so years, and every time there's a new experience, and I learn everything, uh, something new every time. It's really the only place in the world where you can meet this many competent people in the same place at once. It's a great community. Um, the organizers do an amazing job of making sure that the content is relevant. I've met some amazing women who have offered to connect and help guide me. If you could go back and change one decision you made across your design process over the years, what would that have been? Oh dear. <laughs> if you make a lot of decisions, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. It's just true. And what you have to be, to, to, to succeed under those circumstances, you have to be willing to figure out which ones were a mistake and which ones you need to change promptly. And during the pandemic, um, you know, we couldn't go out to rural areas and do our normal research work. So uh, we turned our focus here to the Seattle area. We are in the final moments of Nanog Hackathon 88, which has been going on for a little under two weeks. Music